Hello and welcome back to Perizno 1.4.5. We're actually going to be fighting a band of wolf knights here. They only have 67, but they have a massive amount of prisoners. Obviously, that doesn't really matter so much for me, but here's the thing. My main concern right now is earning a lot of renown. So what I actually did was I came up to the area surrounding... Uh, I can't even remember the name of the town now. Oh, isn't that a wonderful start? Is it? Yes, mm -hmm. it is an absolutely wonderful start. Anyway, the fact is, I've come up here to the northern regions because I thought to myself, oh yes, what, what would be a good idea, right? Would be to maybe earn a little bit of renown fighting some snow crawlers. So I thought, okay, I'll go and do that off screen because, well, that's kind of boring for you, right? It's kind of boring for you to, to watch me solo a bunch of... Um, uh, you know, a bunch of snow crawlers by myself because I actually did find the Mystic Merchant. And by the way, th this is me attempting to use a pole arm on a on a horse. And um, <laughs> as you can as you can quite clearly tell, I am absolutely awful at it. I don't even know what's going on here with this, but um, I'm basically not even able to deal any damage whatsoever. Oh, there we go. There's ten damage. Now, bear in mind, I'm actually not entirely sure whether this is a good weapon. But someone mentioned to me that there is a Kaikoth Federation, or Kaikoth, or however you say it, the dwarves, basically, the dwarven uh, faction, they have a large polearm that is piercing damage, and I thought that this was it, because I actually found this in the Mystic Merchant's Inventory, uh, alongside a repeater crossbow, mind you, as well. So I am, I did have, I, I did purchase that. I was lucky enough to find the repeater crossbow very easily, in actual fact. Very surprised that I was able to find it so quickly, but we did. I didn't even have to reset the guy's inventory once, which is actually very, very lucrative for us. But yeah, obviously, in the previous episode, I was a little bit, a little bit on edge, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrated, you know, with the whole thing of our progression. Because let's face it, my progression hasn't been exactly amazing, and uh, you know, that's primarily because I was attempting to get as much, uh, you know, economic strength as possible. And for me personally, I'm not very good at winning tournaments, as you've so far seen as well. Winning tournaments, obviously, being one of the number one ways that you can actually earn money and renown early on, but I'm, I'm just not very good at them. So, you know, obviously failing at that, it kind of puts paid to any kind of early game aggression when it comes to your renown gain, which is kind of sad. Anyway, the point is, apart from my frustration, we now have taken it upon ourselves to get stronger just very slightly, just by running around a little bit, just by attacking these wolf knights, for example, and also attacking the snow crawlers eventually. I will be going and attacking those um, rather soon. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I'm actually going to leave all of these guys um, where they are. I don't see a reason to take them. Ooh, this is a pretty nice mount, I think. Is it a pretty nice mount? I'm actually not entirely sure. But I'm actually going to show you my weapon in just a second because... I don't know whether it's actually any good, okay? I have no idea whether it is any good, so maybe you can let me know in the comments whether it is or not, and uh, we'll see what happens. I am actually wearing this golden caped armor, because obviously this is Tamaris' armor, and um, thank you to those of you that actually did let me know a bunch of really useful information. So many of you actually reached out and said some super useful things. Massive amounts of tips and, and strategies and tricks and so on and so forth that anyone can use in Parisno to get a good start or to get back on your feet or any of the any of those things basically. Just to just to say thank you to those of you that did that because that is that really means a huge amount because I'm obviously not someone that is very well versed in the land of Parisno. I know much more about Pendor, even though to be fair, I am quite a bit rusty at that now as well, but I'm much rustier at Parisno. I think the last time I played Parisno was in, uh, when was it actually? Was it in, was it in 2016 or 2018? I, I don't know. It was a long time ago, uh, suffice it to say. Anyway, um, this is the repeater crossbow that I managed to get. It's pretty good, as you can quite clearly tell. I haven't been able to use it in a battle yet, because I obviously just said we haven't gotten into any snow crawler fights or anything like that. And this is the pole arm that I've been using. Now, I don't know whether this is a dwarven pole arm or not, but 
from my perspective, I think this is a terrible weapon, okay? <laughs> I know. What did you think I was going to say? Did you think I was going to say, this is amazing, I love this weapon? Yeah, actually, hilariously enough, this would usually be a weapon that I would be well on board with using because this is one of the things that I love. I love slashing pole arms, or shall we say swinging pole arms. Thrusting pole arms, not so much, but the swing has 49 piercing damage on this thing. Unfortunately, that doesn't really seem to be doing that much damage, surprisingly enough. I'm very shocked at that, actually, because I would have expected this to be super, super simple. And I would have expected it to do a load of damage, but it actually doesn't. And uh, as you could see in that fight just then, I was doing about mm, 12 to 30 damage, I think. 12 to 30 damage. That's not really that good, is it? No, that's not really that good. So that's the reason why I'm kind of now thinking to myself, well, what am I going to do about that? Because I need a very... I, I, very clearly, I need a very good weapon to move forward here because otherwise I'm going to be stuck in these situations where I just can't do any damage. And uh, yeah, that, that's really a, a pretty big problem. So I'm going to need to do something about that. So anyway, uh, let me see if I can find some snow crawlers real quick and then we will go and solo them because I'd actually like to try and see whether that is a good way for me to get experience. Uh, these guys are running away from the Ilika Falki. Um, I'm kind of a bit worried about the Ilika Falki, to be honest, because they are currently aggressive to me. I could do the quest, which um, lets them be neutral towards me or friendly towards me. But doing the quest, uh, there's some snow crawlers over there. Okay, yeah. So th the fact is, I could do the quest, but that's then going to mean that the Reich themselves are then going to be aggressive to us. Uh, I, as far as I remember, they are going to be very, very upset. And so I'm not entirely sure if I want to go ahead with that, because if I go ahead with it, it's going to make things very uncomfortable in this area, and it's going to make things quite difficult for us. Anyway, I will try to win against 42 snow crawlers. Let me just make sure that I'm setting this up all right, because as you can see, we can now set up all of my forces here, and hopefully we will be able to place them here and not lose them. Now, generally, this... Oh, wow. Okay, our renown is only three. Yeah, that's probably because I still have my companions with me. Admittedly, I can't actually get rid of my companions because I am now at this point in the game. So it seems as though soloing snow crawlers is not really on the cards for us, and three renown is going to be our reward here, which is really weird considering we have a battle advantage of minus three. Anyway, the point is, um, apart from that, apparently getting leaf bombs and specking into um, throwing weapons, specking into power throw and so on and so forth, is much, much better than anything else. Any other ranged specialization is not that good in Parisno. I mean, bows are okay, of course. You know, bows are obviously going to be pretty effective. But, uh, you know, uh, crossbows specifically, I mean, crossbows are okay, as you can quite clearly tell. They, they seem to actually be doing some pretty decent damage for me right now. But thrown weapons are quite clearly the meta, meta game, you know. Uh, that's what some people have told me. So I, I appreciate that as well, because um, obviously I, I do have some leaf bombs, which is actually really funny. I do have some leaf bombs in my inventory but I will not be able to use them because they do require seven in power throw. And I have, uh, I think, zero. Yes, I think I have zero in power throw, so that's not really going to make any difference to me. But it's there anyway. You know, we do have some. And um, there are a number of other strategies that you can use, which I'm not going to mention right now because it, there's just there are so many. It's actually really funny how many strategies there actually are and how many secret things you can actually do in Parisno itself. It's actually very impressive that there are so many different playstyles and ways that you can become powerful. But from my perspective, obviously, soloing snow crawlers or at the very least attempting to solo them as much as we can is not really going to work for us, unfortunately. Even though this would 
be a uh, pretty good idea early on in the game. Uh, but unfortunately, this is not how it's going to work right now. How do I actually stop these guys from... Wait a minute. Uh, is it time to rejoin? Do I have to speak to... Oh, no, I only have to speak to one of them. Okay, Whew. I was a bit worried there for a second. I thought to myself, no, please. Please do not have me speak to every single one of the units. But no, no, they didn't. They didn't actually have that. All right, so there's some more wolf knights over there. Mm, generally, I, can I... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I rescue these Elantoran units? I'm actually wondering whether we can rescue them. The, the Zan are very close by, by the way. This is not a good idea for me to do this so incredibly close to them, but we're going to do it nevertheless. Look at this. I'm literally getting more renowned for this battle than I was for basically going, uh, what, four, four, uh, four against one, basically? The, oh, the odds were not in our favor, <laughs> that's for sure. And we did also have a negative three battle advantage against the Snowcrawlers. But yeah, anyway, this polearm... This polearm is, in my opinion, just awful. I, I'm not sure whether anyone's used this or not, but as you can see, I literally am doing about 6 damage with 111% speed bonus. 28 damage here. Um, can I get some more? 26 with 100% speed bonus. I'm kind of hoping for a little bit more than that, please. Um... I mean, that's, that's kind of what I'm talking about when it, when I say, you know, Prisno just has insane armor values. It's very, very difficult to actually get any kills most of the time. And uh, to be fair, I just, I maybe it's my proficiencies. I don't know. Maybe it's my proficiencies. Maybe it's my power strike. Because generally, I don't actually have a very high power strike skill. So it might very well be that that is contributing to a lot of my, uh, should we say, feebleness in these kinds of uh, battles. But yeah, as you can see here, we just get an Elan Toran Bowman, which is obviously not what I'm looking for, unfortunately. So we're just going to leave him the way he is. And there's another wolf over there if we want to take him. But I'm just going to let people upgrade their stuff if they want to. Let's upgrade again, just in case. There we are. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Okay, right. So what I actually want to do now is I want to go to McCann. So going to McCann, um, very uh, thankfully, by the way, you let me know this is, once again, very helpful. And uh, if you yourself are having some issues with Parisno, like I am, then maybe this is going to be helpful to you as well. Okay, so if you have a good economy, like I do, or at least I think I have a pretty decent economy, it's not too good because I don't have a town or anything like that, but I have a decent one, you know, it's fine. So now, Here's the thing. If you have a lot of money, what you can do is you can go to McCann, which is exactly where we're going right now. I'm going to go to McCann. Hopefully uh, it's not taken by anyone aggressive to you at the time when you want to go there, because let's face it, the Zan could have ownership of it in my game. But thankfully they do not, and thank you, thankfully it is still under control by uh, Makavia. so I'm very, very pleased about that. And let's go into the tavern here. Okay, so apart from the fact that I just want to find some people here, we actually need to speak to some priests. Now, these priests have the, uh, have the ability to trade gold for, um, for renown. And these are the two priests as far as I am aware. Hello there. Um, is there anything I can do to help our cause? I'm actually not entirely sure who... Uh, how do I... Wait a minute. Do you, have any, do you have any tips for me? Destroy the party of... Oh, no, no. Oh dear. Okay, uh, I believe in your gods. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, here we go. Please, kind priest, I need this more than ever. Okay, 25,000. There you go. So I just spent 25,000. We lost um, relation with the old gods. But look at this. I just gained 60 renown. Did I actually lose honor for this? Did I lose honor for this? Okay, I have no idea. But yeah. Um... Okay, lost 2,000. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see. Can I actually now say that I believe in this guy? Yeah, I can. But not not for anything like that. Okay, so... Uh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, so there you go. So I gained 60 renown. So I assume I can only do that every 24 hours, potentially? Okay, so where are the party of infidels that I have? Ah, there. Machiavian Mounted Marksman and New God's Disbeliever. Right. Wait a minute. 
Let me, uh, okay, when do I know? How am I supposed to find them? New gods, new gods, new gods. Uh, it's, is it? Uh, no, it's not actually um, alphabetized. Okay, well, that's obviously unfortunate. Okay, ah, Church of Faith, here we go. Oh, no, no, that's not them. Right, okay, well, I'm I'm not going to be able to find, oh, no, here, here we go, here we go. Okay, there we go. New gods, disbeliever, found them. All right, these guys are literally nothing. Okay, these guys are literally just fodder, pretty much. So we shouldn't have to worry about them at all. And we should be able to complete this without too many issues. Although, to be fair, they do have some halberdiers and some mounted marksmen that are going to be a little bit problematic for us. But in the meantime of me doing this, it's actually not too bad because I'm actually going to be able to level up Shi Jin's engineering, which is actually pretty fantastic because let's face it, we need the ability to construct those ladders really fast. You know, that's what we want. Uh, let's get some more combat skills for Agner here, even though he's particularly not the best medic in the world. But, you know, it's, it's kind of useful, I guess. And uh, let's just attack these guys. All right. Hello there. 118 versus 140. Uh, we're getting 11 renown for this. That's pretty good, right? Isn't that pretty good? Yeah, well, maybe. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure if this is a particularly good weapon, but the problem that I'm going to have going forward is that um, a couple of people did recommend me getting a Tolranian Morningstar. And the problem with that is that I can't actually access any of the Tolranian towns at the moment because, get this, they're actually owned by the Zan. Of course they're owned by the Zan. Oh no, absolutely terrible, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a little bit of a problem for me. So unfortunately, I won't be able to go into their marketplaces or anything like that, but I could potentially find the thing through the Mystic Merchant. So if I do find another Mystic Merchant, then I could possibly find it through there. And if I don't find it through there, then I can maybe defeat a couple of Tolranian vassals in the meantime, if I'm even able to do that. But of course, we are not at war against them, so it's not really, um, you know, on the cards for me right now anyway. But yeah, you can see how much damage I'm actually dealing with this polearm right now. Not doing particularly well. Obviously, the fact that I'm not hitting anything really kind of, you know, cements that fact. But yeah, you can see here, look at that. I hit that guy for 32, hit this guy for 19. Uh, this guy's wearing plate armor. This guy's not wearing plate armor. I did 21 damage to him. What about this guy? Okay, I did 20 damage to a Maccavian halberdier. Not sure how much iron flesh or anything like that they have, but it feels to me like this weapon is not really that good. Um, someone actually did also recommend an Elantoran polearm as well. Apparently an Elan Toran polearm is really, really good too. So I'm obviously going to look forward to using that if I can actually find one. Once again, the Zan just complicating things en endlessly for me right now. Because of course we're not going to have easy access to many of these places that we would have otherwise had before the Zan invaded. But as I say, I'm not entirely sure. I think I might be a bit skeptical about how much damage I can actually do with a different weapon because this weapon as you've seen has piercing damage it has piercing damage it's 49 piercing damage it's pretty good as far as i can tell maybe it's not that good maybe i i, I don't know maybe it's just not that good and maybe i need to find something better but um the point is we did find something with piercing damage and it's still doing relatively small amounts which is kind of sad i think i i, I don't know i'd prefer you know to do a bit more to be honest oh we got some some new gloves okay that's actually kind of nice pretty happy with that and what else do we have going on here axe bow axes okay we're not really going to be using those thank you very much let's just let everyone take equipment if they want to and then we can move on is the quest completed yes the quest is now completed right so let's go back into the castle i was actually hoping that it wouldn't cause war with Maccavia here but anyway let's um i have done it there we go. I got 2,500. Really? That's it? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, wait a minute. So yeah, he's not actually giving me... Okay, wait. He's giving me honor? I believe in your gods. And does he... You say, the, you say the priest... You pay the priest, but it seems they have grown tired of gossiping about you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So... Hmm, okay, I see. So what about if I wait a little bit of time... 
I'm going to assume that you're going to need to just wait 24 hours or something like that and then you can go back in and then you might be able to get another 60 renown but this is exactly the reason why um, knowing these kinds of things is a is a is a significant increase to your very own power and it's not even about your own character's power it's about your knowledge about the game and that's actually really interesting because i think that a lot of warband mods are actually like that because if you think about you know something like pendor as well as perizno they both have a deep-seated secret base you know what i mean like they have a lot of things running underneath you know kind of like shady shady things and i'm not saying that this is unsavory or anything like that i'm just saying there are a lot of secrets that you can uncover and you wouldn't otherwise know about them so it's actually really interesting to have that kind of thing happen and as i say like the amount the amount of people that have come forward and said stuff that is extremely interesting is staggering i, I just couldn't even i couldn't even believe it anyway let's have a look okay yeah no this guy doesn't want to help me any further by the looks of things as you can see uh what if I say this? Are you selling your faith? What will the gods say? Okay. <laughs> okay, he didn't like me for that. But that's fine because he already didn't really like me that much. I have no idea who the old gods are either. Um, I don't know. I think they're the divine aethlings, aren't they? Or are they the new gods? I have no idea which one is best to side with. But, well, I've sided with one of them for now. And, uh, yeah, that's the point. Once again, I am just being ignorant, you know? I am ignorant of what God is best to side with. And that makes things... Yeah, as you can see, there's Divine Eathlings right here. Yeah, those guys are going to be really, really hard for us to deal with. Thankfully, they're running around with a pretty significant army, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. All right. Uh, it should be 24 hours by now. And we're just going to go in and check, because I'm not entirely sure... Yeah, there we go. Okay, fantastic. So look at that. You, then you can pay another 25,000, gain honor, gain relation, and you gain renown. And uh, yeah, so you can basically just continue doing that over and over again if you want to. And that's going to gain you uh, significant renown gains over time if you have enough money. And obviously I do. I do have enough money, which is actually really nice. Because if I didn't, then I wouldn't be able to do this as easily. And I'd feel pretty insecure about doing it in general because then I'd be thinking to myself oh but what if I need the money for leveling up my troops or for my wages or for uh, improvements somewhere or another okay these guys are using Zan mounted berserkers and black warriors I'm not sure whether wait a minute let me just estimate his party he's got 4,600 okay no we're probably not going to do that I have 3,600 3, which is actually not bad that's that's not too uh not too terrible, but uh, definitely not something that I'd like to go for right now. No, don't go around this way, you absolute imbecile. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll fight him in a second. I just need to actually take a look at the troop trees and actually have a look at the Zan Dynasty here. Okay, so let's see. No, he... Oh, okay, wait a minute. They're not actually seen anywhere here, are they? No, they are special units. Okay, yeah, they are special units. So I'm going to have to take a look at the reference material once again. View your troops. Here we go. Okay, so Zan Dynasty. Let's have a look here. Black Warriors, Black Warriors. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so Black Warrior. Oh, they actually come equipped with shields. They actually have shields. These guys are going to be pretty hard, um, I believe. Um, I mean, they've got 78 HP, they've got some pretty decent gear, as you can see there. Their thrown weapons are not exactly amazing, their weapons themselves are not exactly amazing, so they're not going to be that difficult for us, but they also have mounted um, berserkers, these guys. They do not have any shields, so they're going to die really, really easily to our horse archers, and they don't even have any ranged attacks, so it is... It is possible for us to be able to do something there. So maybe we'll do that. Not sure just yet, but let's just go into Elsinore for the moment because what I actually wanted to do was try to find the Mystic Merchant for a potential chance for me to get a better weapon, a better melee weapon, shall we say, because my melee weapon at the moment is very disappointing. It feels disappointing to me, so I'd kind of like to have something a little bit better, but I'd also like to go to my... Uh, 
uh, to my village and actually have um, the ability to pull all of my assets together and put them into my inventory because I'm, I'm kind of thinking that that would probably be a, a pretty nice thing to do. So yeah, let's just go very quickly uh, over there and do that. And this is, oh yeah, nice. The academy is almost going to be done. It's going to be done in one day. That's wonderful. Okay, let's go into the village center here. Hopefully I'm not going to get attacked. Is this guy my chamberlain? Yes, hello there. I wish to collect all my funds. There we go. 357,000 we just gained. Absolutely amazing. That's very good. And I'm actually going to wait for one day until the academy is done. And then I will start the next upgrade. And as, um, as I suspected from the previous episode, someone did confirm, in fact, that you do need a town to be able to build the upgrade that gives you 20 renown every single week. Because let's face it, can you imagine having multiple towns with that upgrade in? You're just going to sail away with the amount of renown you're going to get. It's going to be incredible. So hopefully we're going to be able to do that at some point. Let's take a look at this. Okay, this is going to do this. No, the mill is probably the best. Don't really see anything else here that we really want. I mean, the guard post is actually pretty decent as well. It kind of keeps weaker vassals away. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. We'll do, we'll do the guard posts, even though it's probably not going to do that much, to be honest. You know, guards in Parisno are probably not going to be that strong. How much uh, party space do I have? Okay, so I gained 120 renown and... I, well, actually more than 120 Renown, and I gained about three party size. So the amount of Renown that I'm going to need to get is absolutely ludicrous, apparently. So that's going to be a bit of a, well, possibly a bit of an issue. Let's get rid of that guy for the moment. There we are. Uh, Zyra needs to level up, but I'm not going to do anything with her just yet because Amana just came under siege, and I wouldn't mind going over there and seeing if I can lend some assistance. Oh, we've actually made peace with the Zan. What? What? Okay. That's very weird. Okay, I'm very surprised about that. I, okay, so we have no enemies. We actually have no enemies now, which is very, very weird. Uh, if, well, if you have a fight, you sure have one. I will murder you with my pole arm. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, the pole arm does a lot of damage like that, but not so much damage on, on horseback. Uh, I mean, obviously, the guy had no helmet on or anything like that, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway, female assassin, ransom broker. No, none of these people are the mystic merchant, unfortunately. So we're going to have to move on from here. I can't buy any land here either, which is very, very sad, isn't it? Always very sad when that happens. Um, but yeah, we can't really do anything else here anyway. Because this guy's now made peace. But we are now over 500 renown. I have 98 honor. I actually have no idea what the honor cap is. Because it used to be, at least in Warband, it was 99. At least I thought it was 99. I, thought, I seem to recall that it was 99, but maybe it wasn't. Anyway, if they've increased the honor rating cap, then obviously getting as much honor as possible is probably going to be a good idea. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to end this episode off here. But next time... I'm going to go back to McCann for the moment. I'm going to continue spending money to get Renown over there. And then in the next episode, we're going to go to the third Legion outpost, which is just over here. And we're going to attempt to restore the Venatoran Empire. That's what we're going to try. Hopefully we'll be successful. If not, then I will run away. Very, very sad. Yes, indeed. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.